Hey, what is going on, fellas? It's Favstar, and today I've got a bit of a different video for you guys because I need your help to answer a very important question. Is Cold War, or more specifically, Call of Duty 6v6, dead? Before we dive into today's topic, I'd like to explain where I've been. It's hard to believe it's been almost three months since my last video, and the reason for that is because I've been spending the summer at my cottage deep in the Canadian wilderness. And unfortunately, my Starlink internet pre-order never came through, and it just wasn't possible to play on a cell phone-based internet connection. I really appreciate, though, the feedback and comments from you guys saying how you miss the content and wondering when I'm coming back. That's always very motivating, so thank you so much to you guys who left those comments. The good news is that summer is winding down, and I'll be back on my regular upload schedule in early September. Now, what I'd like to discuss today is the current state of Call of Duty 6v6. And I'll start right off the bat by expressing my opinion, and it's very simple. I still enjoy playing Cold War. Now, that probably sounds pretty strange, since a lot of big YouTubers out there are really hating on the game right now, and it's pretty hard to disagree with them because the stats don't lie. To illustrate my point, we'll begin by looking at the Twitch homepage. If we sort by viewers, we can see that Cold War is being outperformed by almost every single mainstream multiplayer game title. Now, if we assume that a game's popularity can be represented by its viewership on Twitch, then Cold War is in serious trouble. Even ASMR relaxation content is proving to be more exciting than Cold War, and by a lot. Of course, you could possibly make the argument that most of the ASMR viewers probably aren't really watching for the relaxation, but that doesn't explain some of the other titles that are beating out Cold War. Even chess has a larger viewership than Cold War. I mean, there's no doubt that chess is an incredibly interesting and challenging game, but watching chess is a different thing altogether. I think another important metric to examine is the game's popularity on YouTube. Now looking at some of the bigger Call of Duty 6v6 content creators, we can see they've had very little growth since the launch of Cold War, with views down significantly when compared to previous years. It's not hard to see why this has happened. Obviously the success of Warzone has split the player base, and many traditional Call of Duty fans have completely abandoned the 6v6 game in favor of Battle Royale. Although I really enjoy Warzone, until the cheating problem has been fully resolved, I can't see myself investing the time and effort into Warzone content. All of this information brings me to a crossroads in terms of my channel's content, and this is where I really want to hear from you guys. Where do I go from here? Do I continue with Cold War and 6v6 content, hoping that Vanguard arrives with a polished and addictive gameplay, do I focus primarily on Warzone and hope for a robust anti-cheat, which the devs have been promising for a very long time? Or do I look for a new game altogether? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.